Hi everyone, Craig here from Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. After recent price hikes in uh, software and the Adobe Creative Suite, we gave you five great alternatives to Adobe Photoshop in a previous video. Following on, we're looking at five more great alternatives to another popular app, Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is primarily used for design professionals, uh, for producing logos, vector graphics, and layouts, and basically anything you can think of that involves graphics. So today, we're looking at five great alternatives to Illustrator that might be a little bit cheaper or even free. Number one is Inkscape. It's a free open source uh, professional quality vector graphics package and it's available on pretty much any desktop platform such as Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Basically the GIMP counterpart um, to Illustrator. Next up is Boxy SVG and this is $9 per month um, and it's a vector graphics editor um, used by web designers um, and you know any sort of professional and it's available in the browser, handy. Next one is Critter, and that's a free open source uh, raster graphics editor. Um, you can also use it for animation as well, and it includes over nine unique brush engines, uh, wrapper file mode, and some cool palette and toolbox options as well. Next up is Vector, and that's without an O, and that's a free cross-platform um, package that you can use in the browser or on the desktop, and you can also do some real-time sharing um, by a URL. And finally, Affinity Designer. This one is a one-time purchase of £48.99. Um, it's got an excellent workflow, pan and zoom functionality, um, great for animation. Um, I mean, you can even zoom in over a million percent, which is insane, but amazing. Um, it's really easy to switch between vector and raster workspaces. Definitely worth checking out. So there you have it. There's five very exciting, cheaper um, alternatives to Adobe Illustrator. Check them out when you've got some time. And who knows, maybe they'll replace Illustrator in your day-to-day -day workflow. Um, once again, I've been Craig McCarthy, Development Manager of Swiftcase. For more information about some of the stuff that we do, check out swiftcase.co.uk. If you want to see some alternatives to Photoshop, check out our earlier video. Um, next time, we'll be looking at InDesign, uh, which is used for layouts of magazines and um, stuff like that. So don't forget to check it out. Subscribe below. And thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day.